See that? You know what that is? It's snow time! Snow time, otherwise known as go time. What's up, Sludheads? Kinger's back. This is the video where I say, I pick up from the last video where I left off in the spring and say, this is all the plans that I'm gonna do to get the sleds working. I got all this great stuff, I'm gonna make all these videos. And then I don't do it, and all of a sudden it starts to snow, and I'm like, hey, we better get going. <laughs> so today, our goal, I get, need to get Bob started. We need to wake him up from his winter, summer slumber. Get his lazy ass out of bed. And we're gonna, we're gonna do that. I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do here. Let's get right to it. All right, this is how I left Bob in the springtime. So if you remember the last trip with this sled, the gas tank got really hot again after it just been on fire the previous trip. And it did all that work to put the new Skidoo tank on there. And this time, what I found was that this exhaust uh, didn't have these cuts on here and it had it had cocked and it was basically running all the exhaust right in all this, right in, you know, my exp super expensive uh, fuel filter right in here. And it was just, just creating all the heat right here. And so all the heat was from that. So immediately I pulled this off in the spring with my big plans and I got these, these extensions welded on. We're gonna push them down through the tunnel. Now this big hole was here when I got the sled and this is the one that I've added. So you can see I need to cut this out and get both of these three inch tubes to fit. I've got a plate that'll go over that, that will kind of keep all the snow down. Um, we need to get the exhaust connected. I need to somehow make this turbo blanket work. I need to remove that, that grease zerk fitting. So I got a bunch of zerk fittings here. I'm gonna try to come up with a 90 and shoot out so that I got easy access up in here to grease the turbo um, every morning. And then on this side, I need to get, I need to get the uh, air filter on it. I never had an air filter on it last year because it couldn't be done with a turbo that close. So uh, I got a slim air filter, but I'll loosen the turbo, cock it back a little bit, get that on, put the turbo back on, cut this for the exhaust, get that on, get the grease jerks done, get the, I got a new wastegate dump. This one last year was, you know, just for bad purposes, let's just say it was, it was like this. It was kind of like this, just blowing exhaust out again on top of the tunnel. Now I've got it to where it's gonna go in the tunnel, okay? That's it, let's get moving. I'll come back when we're ready to fire this thing. Just point of note, this is real time. I have not staged this. I don't even know if I'm gonna get this sled to run today. <laughs> so we're gonna work on it, we're gonna work on it together. It is 2.21 in the afternoon and I'm gonna to try to have this run in by 6 p.m. Wish me luck. Quick update, I got everything installed. The muffler um, is fit. I've got a plate now that like seals that against the tunnel. I made another little plate back there for the wastegate dump. You can kind of see how it'll just dump down into the tunnel now. I just gotta connect that to here. And then I got my air filter on. Look at that, I had it custom made. Only cost me $1 million fits in there like it's supposed to. And that should be it. Um, oh, I forgot, we gotta do some meth lines. These are the power wires for my methanol pump that got too hot um, from the exhaust last year. So I'm going to replace that. I even got some upgraded stuff. We're just going 10 gauge in hopes that I never have to do this again with this electrical hotness and exhaust hotness on this thing. All right, time's up. It's six o'clock. Again, we're doing this real time because this is how most people work, right? So I gotta get, I gotta get moving, um, done for the night. But let me flip you around here and show you uh, how I've ended this and how close I am. So this is how you cram two 38 mil wastegates, a turbo, an air filter, a turbo sensor, a valved exhaust with a three inch dump and a three inch muffled, Crankcase evac, O2 sensor, <clears throat> and like I said, boost control of the exhaust. So, a lot going on in this little area here. Um, but uh, also, next thing I'm gonna do is figure out how to get a turbo blanket on here. I wanna make sure that um, I get that on. It's gonna be real tough with this wastegate, but I really wanna give myself every thermal advantage possible. I am tired of melting stuff. Um, also, like I said, I gotta Touch up some hoses. I see that this guy got really toasty. So before it starts leaking, I might as well get it replaced. 
And then um, these wires here that melted through, again from heat, from this muffler leaking. So last year this muffler was cocked off here and just blowing exhaust in the tunnel. So uh, got that fixed. There's a two, I think I added an inch and a half down in the tunnel and I still got about an inch and a half between uh, my lug and that. So, and I'm running a one and a half inch uh, track. So it's not a baby track either. So plenty of clearance there. Um, got this, got my wastegate really dialed in. This whole tunnel now is just nicely sealed. Um, there's no exhaust coming through here and it should all go where it's supposed to. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching. We will check back and I will have this running. On second thought, I better get my butt in gear. It's snowing.